Hello student, the question says the velocity of a particle moving with constant acceleration at an instant t0 is 10 meter per second. After 5 seconds of that instant, the velocity of the particle is 20 meter per second. The velocity at 3 seconds before t0 is. So as given the velocity of particle moving with constant at some time t0, he has given it as 10 meter per second. So let us try to draw the situation. So let us assume the particle started from somewhere and it kept on moving and at time t0, so let us assume at time t0, the velocity, it is given as 10 meter per second. So the velocity here is 10 meter per second and 5 seconds after that instant. So from here, if we travel 5 seconds, the velocity is 20 meter per second. So here it is 10 meter per second and here it is 20 meter per second. Based on this, we can just find what is the acceleration of the particle because it is moving with constant acceleration. So let us use that. We know V equals to U plus AT. So if I apply that between these two points, the initial velocity would become 10. The final velocity would become 20. So 20 equals to 10 plus acceleration is A. The time is just 5 seconds. Here in V equal to U plus AT, T is the time of travel. V and U depends on between which two points we are applying this formula. We are applying between these two points. So once we do that, A equals to 10 by 5, you will get it as 2 meter per second square. Once we got A as 2 meter per second square, now he is asking you the velocity 3 seconds before T0. So we want 3 seconds before this. So this is 3 seconds. I want velocity here. So now we know acceleration as 2 meter per second square. So again, I will use V equals to U plus AT. This time, I will apply between these two points. Between which two points you are applying V equal to U plus AT is very important. If I do that, now here, the final velocity would become 10 meter per second since I am applying between this point and this point. So 10, initial velocity U, that's what we need to find, plus axle A is 2 and P is 3. So we can write 10 minus 6 equals to U, which is 4 meter per second. So the 4 meter per second would be my option 2. So these kind of questions, it is better if you draw the diagram and try to solve it. And remember, whenever you use V equal to U plus AT, you should always question between which two points we are applying this formula. Hope you understood how I have solved. Thank you.